Willie D Live. It's Willie D, y'all, back with another episode of information and instructions to help you navigate through this wild, crazy, beautiful world in the studio, Van Lathan. What's up, G? What's up, King? I'm good, my man. Oh, man. I see you got the Texas hat. You know? oh, I'm doing my we thing. We ain't necessarily Texas, but, you know, the yeah, Cowboy hats no. worldwide. Well, Cowboy hats worldwide. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So Baton Rouge, yeah. I show a little, show a little deference and... Uh, respect to my lineage there as the black cowboys from Maryland, Louisiana, where my daddy from. Right. Yeah. Baton Rouge, man. How did you get from Baton Rouge to TMZ? On purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was working in Baton Rouge on different projects that would come through Louisiana mm -hmm. um, because Louisiana has a tax credit. So a lot of stuff is shot in Louisiana. A lot of big movies shot in Louisiana. Sometimes you don't, you you can't tell. You know, you describe them, or they disguise them a little bit. And there was a movie that came through in 2005 called The Reaping. It was with Idris Elba, big Hollywood movie. They took the 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 Walmart on Plank Road, and they made it into a a, a soundstage. And I was the stage manager of the Walmart on Plank Road as the soundstage. That was the same year that Hurricane Katrina came through. So I was able to save up some money. The production went long because we were down. I was able to save up some money, and then I moved out to L.A. After the hurricane came through, um, to me, that was like a sign that anything that I wanted, I had to go get it real quick and not wait on things. And so Katrina? I came out to L.A. Hurricane Katrina? Hurricane Katrina, 2005. Yeah. yeah. Man, Baton Rouge is one of those type of cities. Baton Rouge remind me of, like, the relationship that New Jersey have with New York, mm. Baton Rouge relationship with New Orleans. Mm. It's like, yeah, y'all talking about New Orleans, man. You know, like, we got our own thing out here, too. We doing our own thing. Y'all real serious. People that's from Baton Rouge, man, y'all right, y'all pride on y'all chest, man, yeah. for real. Yeah, New Orleans is the heart of the state, but Baton Rouge is the brain. Mm. So Baton Rouge is the place where the political decisions for the rest of the state are made. It's a place where you get right to it. Like, no, we have all of the culture of South Louisiana, but we don't have any tourists um, besides people that are coming for Southern games or LSU game. So whatever we doing, we got to do it because we want to do it. We're not putting a smile on our face to make somebody come to our town and stay there for an extra couple of days. We're not trying to sell you our culture. By the way, this is not a diss to New Orleans. New Orleans is one of the most unique, amazing places in the entire world. But I'm just saying for us, everything that's happening there, we we don't got no commercial. There's no commercial saying come to Baton Rouge. If you're there, you're there for a purpose. So whatever happens, we get right to it. Yeah. Do you know Isaiah Carey? Yeah. Yeah. Went to the, we went to the same high school. He was there before me, but we went to the same high school. That's a McKinley guy. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Shouts out to Isaiah, man. Oh, right now, let me tell you something. This, to me, right now, is the golden age of Baton Rouge alumni. When you look at people from all over the place, when you look at Gates, Young Boy, you know, and hip-hop, of course, Boosie and Webby, the guys that got it started, Fox, all of those dudes, Box, Royale, all of those guys from back in the day, Max Minnelli, all of I wish I could name them all right here. Um, and then when you look at it in media, you got myself, you got Isaiah, you know what I mean? When you just, Ted James, somebody who was uh, went to high school with me, it's a great person to have on the podcast, who's now running for mayor of Baton Rouge. You got Marcus Spears and Ryan Clark. Now, Ryan Clark is not from Baton Rouge, but he lives in and around there now. Marcus Spears is a homeboy that's from right there. Right, the guy yeah. you see these guys on ESPN, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know Michael Clayton doing this thing at, at Tampa Bay. You see all of that stuff. So this is the golden age of people from our city being able to like uh, speak in media in different places like that, and have our influence out there. 